Cowboy Whiskey Outpost, the Travelers finally come to Kansas. This is Traveler number 40 blend from the minds of country music superstar Chris Stapleton and master distiller from Buffalo Trace, Harlan Wheatley. Uh, I am super excited to try this. Uh, this came to some of my local stores. They did not put a limit on it and it was gone before I could get out and get some. So I heard that it was in a place called Prairie Liquors, which I think we did a hunting video. I know I recorded it. We'll see if it's been released yet. It may not be at the time uh, of this video, but it will be out there. Uh, and I got a bottle of Traveler whiskey. So I uh, have not had this yet. So we're going to all learn about it together. So this is 90 proof. Um, there is no age statement on the bottle. Um, they say that uh, one taste will tell us everything we need to know about this. Uh, we'll find out in a second. But I'll say right off the bat, it kind of has what I would call that Buffalo Trace smell to it, which is like shocking, right? Because it came from the Buffalo Trace family, right? So I'm expecting a lot of uh, what I normally get from a Buffalo Trace. The uh, aroma definitely has that kind of fruity, strawberry, raspberry smell to it. There, I get some, some cinnamon and some oak on this that I don't necessarily always get from Buffalo Trace products. But uh, yeah, let's go in and give it a taste. So I know there's been a lot of controversy around Traveler, but I really like this. To me, this is kind of like special buffalo trace that fruit flavor the strawberry is very intense both you know on the front of my palate and the back the flavor lingers it it drinks just a little hotter than that 90 proof but not so much that i don't like it a lot of the oak that uh, i got on the nose is gone but it's just it's all fruit it's all berry i actually enjoy it it's pretty sweet uh, somebody described this as having Canadian mystery juice in it, and that certainly could very much be what's going on in here. But, um, yeah, I mean, if you like Buffalo Trace, if you like you know, Blanton's, if you like those kind of things, I think I might actually pick... Right now, I'm thinking I would pick this in a blind over those two. So maybe we'll do a blind and see which one I actually like. But, yeah, I, a lot of people have not had good things to say about this, but I am certainly in the camp that says that for the... $39.99 or whatever I paid for this, I'll drink this all day. See you next time.